Audacity. Oh, that was the best finger. Oh, ooh, hold on. Wait. Oh. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I am. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be doing a Halloween slash fall decorate with me. I am so excited for this because I'm so tired of the heat in texas hopefully by the time you see this video you guys can get some inspo and some ideas of some things that you can or may think about doing this upcoming fall and as you can see i'm all ready to go i got my fall colors out the brown lipstick i'm ready for it now the last thing we need is some hot cocoa and we're good to go i hope you find this video cozy and entertaining as well as inspirational to get some ideas around your house see i never thought i was gonna be one of those youtubers that did this but honestly like i said it adds to my imagination of fall you know so if this helps literally just search up on youtube fall fireplace or fall cozy playlist and something like that will come up just some ideas for you if you don't have a fireplace use your imagination batter is ready too she got her little onesie from ross if you have a little puppy, you can get them ready for fall too. So I have two boxes. I have this box, I have that box. All right, so y'all know how to operate. We're gonna open everything up together and we're just gonna look at things and that way I can get an idea of where I wanna put things in the house and to see maybe I get rid of some things, I don't know. First up, runner up, we got this hanging hat. Looks like Spider likes it. They're gonna put this with my plants this year. Oh, I was looking for this. Okay, so we're gonna change this out. I don't know where this is gonna go. We're gonna change this out and put this in the back of the vase by the entrance. I guess I never took the tags off. That's, that's interesting. Then we got this. We got two of these. My mom gave me these last year. From what I remember, two of these. You probably got these at Hobby Lobby. They look like they would be found at Hobby Lobby or Target, you know, just some pumpkins. And I did put some little cheese, cheese stick board decors in there because I don't have any guest over ever, so. <laughs> That's just gonna sit there until I have a Thanksgiving party. Oh no, I don't know. Then we got this little turkey. Last year, I actually ended up getting rid of one of two turkeys. So now it's just this one guy. In the spirit of Thanksgiving, I think we gotta keep him. He's not ugly or she, I, I don't know. I don't know, but you know. Then we got this one. I got this guy at, uh, where did I get him? I got him at Dollar General. Yes, Dollar General, I wanna say. Hey, Dollar General actually has a lot of good Halloween stuff. We should check them out this year and see what they have. Maybe. I like him. I like to put him in the bathroom because like I said last year, it looks like he's sitting on the toilet. But I, you know, I don't know. That's just my brain. Okay. And then we have this spooky phone. Oh, I guess I forgot to take the batteries out. He only talks whenever you answer the phone. I know who you are. <laughs> Don't you dare hang up. The audacity. I'm telling you guys, if I would be, if I was in a scary movie, <laughs> you're not gonna catch me. <laughs> oh my god, I just saw a shadow. I'm leaving. Don't even, don't even worry about it. I'm not coming back there. Don't you worry about it. Then we have this. Glow in the dark, which y'all remember it does not glow in the dark. This is a glow in the dark table runner. I'm thinking maybe I put it on another table this year, it just depends. Because I do have a surprise for you guys, but that's supposed to come in an earlier video before this one, so I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I got this from from Home Goods last year. This is something my mom gifted to me. Somebody gives it to her and she doesn't really celebrate fall anymore. So I cannot tell you where I got it from, but I will say my biggest advice for if you're looking for anything clothes, decor pieces that you see in anyone's video or something, if they're gatekeeping, 
don't even worry about it all you gotta do is take a screenshot of the item and go to google and then search that image up and you'll get either that exact item or things similar to it if they are discontinued so that is my biggest advice for anybody that has a gatekeeper friend or gatekeep i don't even i don't even know man but yeah this is a nice little it's like a it's like a birdhouse with pumpkins and fall leaves and such i like it i like it it's different it's different from what you would pick out you know i wouldn't have bought it but my mom gifted it to me and i actually like it so we'll use it then inside this box we have it broke oh that's what i was gonna say to y'all okay so when we were taking down the halloween boxes the shelf that was holding the boxes broke and the box just fell and i'm actually kind of scared because i have an expensive candle holder in there but uh, i hope it's not broken but i just see that this is broken this little bird broke and my mickey mouse mug too it broke my halloween mug remember that from last year we did that coco spooky story makeup thing yeah that broke so i'm gonna have to throw these away and the other one broke too okay so this is dangerous so i'm gonna take out the candle because obviously the candles didn't break i'll take out the spiders i think i'm gonna throw away the box yeah and i don't know if i want to keep this i'll see it's one of those i'll see items a little piece of dark out of my eye we got these two little pumpkins i think it's three i think there's another one a white one and these are from target I think these were from the dollar section or the three dollar section but they're this velvety material very nice so we're already done with this box this one i also got from target i think this was five dollars if i remember correctly it has this glitter and the leaves and the leaves have glitter too you know i like pumpkins okay i like pumpkins all right now time to check on this candle holder the finger broke off does that make it spookier damn and the finger had the had the ring on it oh that was the best finger oh oh hold on wait oh. we can super glue it y'all don't even trip don't even trip we're gonna super glue this baby and let that be a lesson anything that you really find valuable store it somewhere else don't store it in a box if you can i'm gonna store this somewhere else i don't know why i store this here anyways because all my candle holders i store somewhere else because of that reason they're from bath and body works they're not cheap and i don't want to lose a finger so we're just gonna super glue this it's no biggie but could have been worse could have been worse and maybe put it in the bathroom again i don't know we'll see this is the third one i told y'all it's white i got a bad memory but for the good stuff i remember this is another table runner okay so this is what i did last year either last yeah because i have this table here and i also have the table back there but i don't know we'll see we'll see because i feel like last year i tried it and it looked weird i don't know we'll see and then this i would get a little a vase a clear vase and just put it on here I might do it this year because last year i didn't use it at all and why well, have something if you're not going to use it that's the motto this year oh and then we have this sign oh my god i got the sign from dollar tree and i just thought it was so funny it says happy halloween which is beware spooky boo creepy haunted i just thought it was so cute and i like the colors i have this that i painted but i don't know when i painted it i should really date these what's up with all these colors did i even try to blend them out <laughs> this other pumpkin i'm pretty sure my mom got to me this was something that was just out in my closet that i never put in a box i think i'm gonna hang this in the entrance of the door we got a pillow oh i forgot about this pillow and it matches the table runner so we might do the table runner here that pillow i got from bed bath and beyond now this i like to put somewhere on the floor put a little candle in here light it up at night chill spooky late night vibes i have i have some scents in here i have what is this it says pumpkin spice scented sachet i don't even know but it smells like uh, it smells like fall and 
It says pumpkin spice, but it kind of smells like cocoa to me. I don't know. And in here, we have a pumpkin. It's a cool little pumpkin. Where is this from? This is from Ashland. Oh, it has my name. Wow. S. S for Sophia. That's me. S for spider. Okay. And then a bunch of little leaves in there. I told y'all in the hall. I got y'all. Let's see if he still works. Spider scared of it a little bit. like it but it's the cutest thing ever he sings thriller he has purple eyes he's a little mummy what don't you love about him okay and yes he's battery operated oh okay we gotta wreath we gotta read okay so then we gotta okay so what we'll do is i'll do this wreath i don't know what i'll do i don't know what i'll do yeah this is from dollar tree actually don't even trip about spending 20 30 dollars on a wreath when you can get this I don't know if it was a dollar. Might have been five, but you can get this at Dollar Tree. Okay. Like I told y'all, this looks like Joe Rogan. Is that just me? It looks like Joe Rogan to me. And he's just gonna be hanging in one of the planters with no plants in there. Just chilling in there, trying to scare kids and stuff. He you know, doing his spook thing. And then I got a giant spider. Got a giant spider. Oh, then we got a bigger spider. This one's bigger big one then we got this hat i do like to put these hats on my plants these spooky plants and then i have this trick-or-treat basket same legs as the other hat person but this you can put stuff in here you know what would be a good idea this year and i think that's what i did last year put a plant in here maybe i should try to hang her that's what i should do i should hang the witch Okay, then we have my scarecrow. I love my little scarecrow. He's so scary. This mask used to scare my sister. Me and my friend did pranks with this. I have so many memories with this mask that I'm not gonna let it go. We have this sign. The neighbors. Don't feel good. Okay, well don't feel good over there. Another funny Dollar Tree sign. Y'all know I'm not a big into signs, but these are some pretty cool signs. My favorite are these lights. And YouTube, don't copyright me because these are the lights, okay? I'm not, I can't control what the lights do. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I am. This is also another thing that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. I do have some other little things scattered, like for example, my classical broom, my rug, and some things right here. This is from Target. This is from Home Goods. It does need to be clean, but we're just gonna act. I did already have these out because I was just so excited. So I'm sorry for that. And over here, I'm thinking I switched this out with this cart. Just because, you know, when you think about a cocoa bar, you think about fall, and this looks like a cart, you know? And both of these carts, this one and that one, they're both from Target. So we can play with this a little bit more later. And then this is also from Target. Can you tell that I like Target? I believe this was $20, $25. These are some salt and pepper shakers, also from the same line at Target. And we're gonna put this away to snow fall. I'm gonna put this here. Then I'm gonna take this little, I forgot what they call it, a plate holder, but it has a specific name, I just can't remember. Hello Kitty plate. 
and put it here. I have this plate as well. This one's a little more fun because it has these in the corners, but you can always switch it out. And that's it for this little area. I'm thinking for this area here, I move that and then put this here. This is what was in the box that I told you guys that I haven't really used in a couple years. I kind of got to bend it in there. It's kind of ducked off in there, but honestly, I've had this away in, in a cabinet for years, and I said, if I'm not going to use it now, I might as well get rid of it, so I'm testing it out. And to switch out this decor here, I'm going to get rid of this, put it away. Oh, I actually have a camera. What is this? This is a Christmas candle. This is the perfect Christmas. All right, we're going to switch it out with this. This is also a Christmas candle. But it's okay because it's white, so it's it's gonna be fine. You won't really notice this. So this is this the season. I'm gonna put this in there. I'm gonna put this here. I think that I should put it somewhere like more centered. I know this is a weird angle, but just gotta see it come to life. And yes, I know the vase is broken. I spent twenty five dollars on it. It's gonna get its use until the vase breaks. Over here, we can work on getting rid of or putting everything out away or. You know, taking everything off of here. I'm going to take down these pictures and take everything off. Even dust things off as well. I don't know, I don't think that's going to work. Does that look weird? Okay, nice and fall. So I don't feel like I have a lot of big pieces for this table. But I think that's okay. Spider, you got, oh my god, you already broke it up. Where's the little handle? This is not a toy. I throw it away. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. And then orange right here. Is this too much for this table? Or I feel like I have a lot of big pieces in one, but maybe... Maybe this does need to go outside. Okay, what do we think now without the scarecrow? I think that helped. I actually was not anticipating on putting this broom here, but I actually like what it is. So I think I'm gonna leave it here. Since this little air is not spooky at all, I'm thinking I do a little hat to make it like a spooky. So bringing the spooky to the bathroom, I'm thinking we do, the sign might be too low hanging, but can try. Okay, what do we think? So the neighbors have the good candy. This, this. If that's creepy, then I've then I've achieved my goal. I'm trying to do something here so I can get rid of this. I don't know if I can get rid of that. I'll have to see what else I have. Oh, well, I do have something, actually. Okay, so I Gorilla glued the finger and it's all good to go. And I don't have a Halloween soap. That's what it looks like. Let me turn it off so you guys can see. Well, uh, you can't see. This is what it looks like lit up. And it's flameless and it's fake, so you don't have to worry about it burning the bathroom. And then we're going to top it off with a pumpkin. It's a little tricky. It's not your usual table. So that's the best I can come up with, y'all. Another thing that I did is I went out and switched these wallflower plugs. This is a fall one. Put covers in here. These are from Ikea. Let's see what else we have. All right, y'all, and that's it. We're done. So I'm gonna give you a quick overview of everything that we did. We put these black covers on, took that target blanket out this is what this area looks like it's very bare but that's okay with me and then over here i had to get creative because i ran out of decor so i put the little dancing guy there and all the dollar tree little sparkly leaves and pumpkins there and then i put the trick-or-treat basket there and that's an actual real plant there we added this little broom and the hat and then over here in the kitchen plate and the 
cauldron i don't know what to call that and then over here off camera i did kind of spice up the little hot cocoa bar i was gonna do a hot cocoa bar but clearly there's no hot cocoa there so i made it more thanksgiving themed the little pumpkin the little turkey from a different angle this is what this area looks like i also feel like that's kind of spooky because you know it has eyes and then to finish it off in the entrance this is what it looks like okay we're outside with it so the first guy i want to put him right here Bam. The next thing is going to be this wreath. <laughs> so this one goes on this door. And this is what I meant. This hook. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Ta-da. Then I finally hung this up. I'm actually not gonna put this or this out because I don't know where to put the sign and then this I don't have an empty one to put it in. Let's put this one here Spooky nice and fun. So it's actually nighttime now I waited for this because I wanted to show you guys the lights that I hung up and I also put up the witch and she's censored, like uh, motion censored. And so even when the wind moves, she thinks somebody's... So she might get a little annoying. And to make it more interested, I actually turned on my other lights because I did hang them up on top of those lights. So... Oh, and the spiders. How can I forget? We put one, two spiders. So... That is the outdoor decor. And yeah, you guys, that is the end of this video. I am so tired. Hope it was worth it. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know what was your favorite fall decor piece and what you may think about implementing in your house. And with that being said, I will see you guys later. Spider is tired too from all the decorating, of course. You know, she was supervising. We will see you later.